Hey everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I am from Machine Masters. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a drum loop or sample and make it brighter and punchier sounding without having to use EQ, but instead using a wicked free plugin from Slate Digital called Revival. First things first, I have got my eight bar selection over here of a drum beat that I made. I've just mixed it down into a stereo track just because we're talking about adding processing to a drum loop or a sample. So let's take a listen to my drums that I have here. Cool. So there's the drum loop, nice and punchy. It's got some beef to it, but really want to bring it to life. So first thing I'm going to do is pull up Slate Digital's VMR. Now, in order to get access to these free plugins from Slate Digital, you actually have to download their whole virtual mix rack. In the virtual mix rack, you have a drag and drop menu over here of all of the plugins that you have access to. The ones with the red dots mean that you don't have the license for them. Luckily for us, Revival comes free, and that's what we're going to be using today. So like I said before, Virtual Mix Rack has a drag and drop menu. So all you have to do is go to the plugin that you want and drag it into the slot that you want. So this is cool. You've got your own kind of like channel strip over here or console for each instance of Virtual Mix Rack, which is really nice. So here is Revival. We've got two knobs. It's very simple, no fuss. We've got a shimmer knob and a thickness knob. And what the shimmer knob does is it brings out the top end of the sounds. So it stimulates the harmonics in the top band of the frequencies, whereas thickness stimulates the harmonics in the low frequency bands. So let's start off with shimmer. I want a little more top end in my sample. Awesome. So as you can hear there, I brought up the shimmer quite a bit all the way to the top end of it and then brought it back down just to exaggerate the fact, but also show you that you can get pretty intense with this and it still sounds very musical. When I brought up the shimmer, it brought out the hi-hats, it brought out the top end of the snare, made it a little snappier, and it really opened up the top of the drum beat. It's just really nice. Now we're going to go to thickness. Awesome. So I brought up the thickness all the way to the top again, and it still didn't sound bad. Obviously, it was a little much, so I brought it down, but it's just, it's so musical. So you can really drive it and still not get a really bad sound or anything. So brought it down to, uh, to what I thought was reasonable for this drum beat. It really brought out that low end, very like full in the bottom end now. It's got a nice thickness to it, hence the term thickness for the knob, which is great. So the next thing we're going to do, it's a little extra that I like to add, and it's called trimmer. Now, this right here is a great tool because it allows you to compensate for an increase or decrease in level. So this is great because it really allows you to adjust the output so you're not being deceived by loudness and assuming that it sounds better than it actually is. However, that is not the context in which I'm going to be using it today. The thing about Trimmer is that Slate 
made a lot of these components to emulate analog gear. And what I found with Trimmer, it acts like a console when you're driving the console into the reds. And when you're driving analog gear, you get this kind of soft compression. And what's happening is that the signal is hitting the ceiling, not being able to go anywhere. So it's slowly compressing and it's referred to as soft clipping. Trimmer seems to do this quite nicely and it adds to the grittiness and the sound of the drum beat. And drums really do benefit from a little extra distortion or saturation better than like vocals or other things like that. Drums just handle saturation really nicely. So I'm going to increase the trimmer and we're going to listen to what it does to the drums. Awesome. So I raised it about four and a half decibels. I did it so that not the entire beat was in the reds, but it was definitely whenever you heard the kick, it was definitely going into the reds, which was nice. So it, it applied a bit of this compression that I like or soft clipping. Now, to really determine if we've actually done justice to this beat, I have compensated the output of the channel strip so that we get a better understanding of what we actually just did. So I pulled up an instance of Time Adjuster after VMR, and I will compensate it. Uh, it was about roughly four decibels that we increased the levels, so I'm going to bring it down by four decibels. Now I'm going to bypass both and bring them in just to hear if it's the right level. Maybe just a little bit more. So that's pretty close to about what the level is without the processing. Listening to it back and forth, I like what I've done to it. The beat is more compressed because of what I did to the trimmer. And it's a little brighter, it's punchier, it's more in your face. It sounds like the drum beat just really came to life. So I like what we did, so I'm going to keep it like that. So for those of you looking to get those beats and samples, to come out to life a little bit more. These free plugins right here are awesome. Great addition to any plugin arsenal. Thanks again to all of you that checked out this tutorial. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what we covered in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also leave that in the comment section below. As always, please like and share this video and subscribe to Machine Masters to keep up with all our latest tutorials. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.